Hello and welcome to Techie Chat. In this episode, we are going to continue configuring LXQT on FreeBSD 13.2. In the last episode, we got LXQT up and running with the network wireless manager so that we could switch wireless networks easily. And as you can see, I've had a further play around with the desktop, just moving things around. Currently running HDOP, we can see the desktop runs around 968 meg, and this is before I start the simple screen recorder. So let's now get going with the actual configuration. Okay, so I have simple screen recorder running now on the desktop, and I've just uh, typed NeoFetch, and you can see a little bit more detail about the configuration. It's LXQT 1.2.0 with the default open box window manager and a Nordic theme for GTK 2 and 3 with Fienza Radiance icons. If I just run HTOP now, you can see that the difference between uh, running Simple Screen Recorder and not running Simple Screen Recorder becomes apparent, given that we are now running at 1.23 gig of RAM. But we're concentrating on the desktop here, so uh, Let's, let's now take a look at the desktop. First of all, pointing out the plank or the dock down below. And as you can see, I've had a play with plank and I've installed a few themes. But none of these themes look correct. They look a bit odd. And the reason for this is there is no compositor running. And the compositor is really the tool that introduces things like transparency, shadows, um, all those neat little effects that you would kind of expect from a modern operating system. So we're going to do two things here on this desktop today. The first is we're going to align uh, the desktop. So, uh, when I say align the desktop, I'll point out what I mean. When I launch a GTK2-3 application such as Firefox, I get a different window theme to the one I get if, say for example, I launch a file manager. And this is because the system is relying on Openbox for its configuration, and when it launches an application that is GTK-based, it will then use a GTK-based theme. And you can see the difference uh, straight away when I pull these two together, a browser, uh, an internet browser, Firefox, and the file manager. You can see the window controls are really quite different. So we want to align them. How do we go about that? Well, first we go into Preferences, LXQT Settings, and then we will take a look at Appearance. And we're just going to double click on appearance here. So there are a few things you can do in the appearance settings. Uh, one of those is also to change the icon theme. But we are focused here on GTK style. And that, as you can see, is what is running up there with that Mac-esque type window controls. The, uh, the famous yellow, green and red in this case. Uh, not quite the same as Mac, but very, very similar. And if we go into Openbox Configuration Manager, you can see why there is a problem. Because we are currently running within Openbox uh, a standard Arc Darker theme. But we don't have the Nordic open, uh, Openbox theme installed. So how do we go about installing a theme? Well, let's go back to Firefox and we are going to do a search now for Nordic theme Openbox. Okay, and as you can see, there is a website called boxlook.org, and uh, this has got a whole host of themes for Openbox 863, as you can see there in the list. Um, and it's taken me straight to Nord Openbox theme. So you are going to want to download that theme uh, and put that in your home folder. So we downloaded that, and hopefully, the sharp eyed people amongst you <laughs> will have already spotted it before me. There is the uh, tar uh, package or the compressed package. I'm going to open that up using the zip tool arc um, and that's a very handy tool. That will then create a Nord-openbox folder. 
which you can see there. Okay, we're going to close that now. Actually, we're going to minimize it. <laughs> um, and uh, then we'll go back into Openbox Configuration Manager. Now, you will have noticed that just simply downloading that hasn't actually installed it. Um, so what we need to do is we need to essentially create an open box theme archive. Um, and that's what I've done there um, by clicking on create a theme archive. That will then create a .obt out of the items in the folder. You will also notice though by simply creating the archive that it hasn't installed the theme yet because we do need to now install the open box theme archive. So if we go into our home folder, we shall now see there is a nord-openbox.obt. That is our archive. That is the theme that we want to install. Now when I click OK and I've installed that new theme, you will now see Nord Openbox there. And there we are. So straight away the window box, the window manager controls uh, change and uh, we are now aligned with uh, the window controls in GTK, which then gives us a much more seamless experience when using applications within LXQT. Um, it doesn't feel disjointed when we open uh, different applications up, such as a file manager compared to a web browser, for example. So that's kind of aligned our desktop experience. The desktop experience now um, feels like we are using the same operating system rather than multiple ones. Um, there is a lot you can do in Openbox Configuration Manager. You can change the button order. You can change the uh, type of text that's, that is displayed. Um, you can change how it looks when you move and resize windows within Openbox. Um, and you can really go into Openbox configuration and really um, do an awful lot of configuration. There is also a text or a comp file you can edit as well to uh, get even more configuration done within Openbox. Openbox is a very well supported window manager and there is a lot of support out there for Openbox if you so require it. Um, just going onto the internet and searching for open box support, you will find an absolute wealth of information out there for open box. So yeah, um, really is a lot of information. But one of the issues that uh, we now need to look at is why the plank uh, looks uh, as bad as it does with the themes. The themes definitely aren't working okay. and. Just scrolling up and down on this Firefox page, I'm not sure if it really comes out, but we are experiencing something called tearing within Firefox. And that's where, as you scroll up and down, uh, you don't get a very good representation of the screen. It, there's tears in it. Now that can be solved by installing something called a compositor. Now, Compton used to be the uh, compositor of choice, but that has since been replaced by PyCom. So I have just launched PyCom, and as you can see, now when we look at the plank, the themes are now looking much better. In fact, the window behavior is now a lot more modern feeling. There are fades in and out, um, and the uh, different themes within Plank uh, are now working and showing correctly. So by installing the uh, compositor and launching that compositor, which of course you can add to your startup uh, applications if you wanted to, or your startup items, uh, just by simply typing PyCom uh, as a startup item and put that in your startup items and it will launch every time. Um, then uh, we now have things like transparencies, as you can see from the top bar within Sakura. And if we go back to FreeBSD, um, again, I'm not sure if this will come out uh, within within uh, the simple screen recorder screen. Um, but when we go back into Firefox and we go back to that FreeBSD page and we scroll up and down, 
we now get a much smoother experience scrolling up and down. I'm not quite sure if that comes across uh, well enough in Simple Screen Recorder, but you definitely experience that uh, within something like YouTube, for example, or any other streaming platform, you would get a much better experience. So there's my tips for LXQT, uh, desktop theming uh, and uh, getting things like the compositor working and getting the uh, desktop looking a little bit more modern looking with a more modern feel. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, then please consider clicking on like and subscribe. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for watching. Thank you.